Hello again and welcome to my channel Mental Health with and me. I'm Finlay and in this video I wanted to talk about advice for, for, for people who know people that are going through mental health problems uh, or any, any struggles really. It doesn't have to be mental health, it can just be any form of struggles because everybody at some stage in their life will feel down will feel you know sad uh, obviously upset etc you know it's part of life um, but I know I know talking to people close to me that they found it hard or something because they feel helpless they they want to help they they would do anything but they don't know how to and to be honest it's hard to say exactly what you can do I mean first and foremost I think the most important thing is just being there for somebody there'll be times when that person who's struggling with whatever it may be doesn't want to talk but doesn't want to be alone either. So just sitting together, watching something or, you know, anything, going for a walk together, and you might not even speak two words, but just being there makes a world of difference. Um, if that person decides that they do want to talk, then just, just, just listen. It's listening isn't easy, as daft as that sounds. Um, some people listen to help, and, and others seem to listen just to talk. They're waiting so they can talk about them um, and tell you that you know what you're going through is the same as my example X, Y, and Z. To that person at that time, that doesn't really help. The person who is struggling with whatever it may be isn't looking for you to offer an answer. The person just wants to get it off their chest, just pull it out there. I mean, I encourage people to write, but I've my biggest thing that I push as I've mentioned in every video is talking to people and it doesn't have to be therapists and professionals it can be friends and family talk and the more you the more you talk the the easier it gets I mean I used to be believe it or not a closed book uh, people wouldn't have a clue what was going on. Um, as I mentioned, I was when I was bullied, nobody had a clue that was happening at times and things. And now I'm terrible. Like I'll just say it as it is and 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 say what I'm thinking and feeling. You know, uh, I ended up on YouTube, <laughs> but I know from from experience that. The more you talk, the easier it gets when times are hard and you feel lost for words. You can still just sort of stumble through what you're trying to get out. Um, and for you, that person who wants to be there for somebody who is struggling with anything, just listening and just taking an, an interest in what they say in terms of, you know, just showing some empathy towards them. Um, don't, you know, say things like, you know, pull yourself together and all that rubbish, you know, that's, that's rubbish and all that 
man up malarkey. I mean, it's the biggest load of waffle blowing. You know, that means nothing. Um, people that are struggling or do hit rock bottom learn more than you'll ever learn in life. Ever learn in life. But at that time, they just want somebody to listen. <laughs> they just want somebody just to, to, to give an ear and... You know, it could be, a lot of the times you'll find it be late at night and they'll want somebody to talk to, you know. Um, but just being there, just just letting somebody know, you know. A text message, the odd phone call, anything, just to say, you know, hey, how you doing? And... Another thing, when it comes to um, people that you know who struggle with issues, uh, who cancel plans or pull out on things, um, you know, as rude as it may seem and come across in the last minute, don't don't give up on them. They they would rather be there than not. Um, Pulling out wasn't first choice. I mean, I'm lucky I've got good people around me, friends and family. But just there's there's brilliant people in 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 like the uh, social media community and things like that who who will listen and. You can you can drop a message to them. my inbox is always open for things, um, but honestly, the the biggest thing you can do for somebody struggling is just be there. Don't pressure them. Don't say what's up, what's up, why are you quiet. Just be there, and when they want to talk, believe you me, they will talk. And, you know, you can encourage them to speak to you. You can't make them. Don't, don't sort of stare and watch them like they're a, an animal in the zoo, you know. Just leave them to it. And, and, and when, when they feel like it, when they feel ready, they will speak. And like I keep saying, speaking is... Is the biggest biggest thing. It's the start to helping yourself. Um, talking is is key. And honestly, you don't you think that say you pop to somebody's house who, and, and you just you know chat about what's on the telly and and whatever like that and go home and you think well you know we didn't really talk about you know thoughts and feelings you don't realize how much you've helped that that person doesn't always want to talk about their thoughts and feelings they just want a chat um to sort of feel back in the loop and and just to speak to somebody you know and as i keep saying and i know i've repeated myself the number one thing you can do to help somebody is just 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 be there, you know, and it makes it, it makes a difference. It really, really does make a difference. So I know I've waffled a bit as usual, but thank you for watching and I, I hope you're okay. Take care.